Okay, so I'm pretty sure if you used a private DNS with Wakata, you know it doesn't work. You try it, and then it says private DNS cannot be accessed. Message can differ from device to device, but the result is pretty much the same. Um, what I'm trying to do specifically is I'm trying to use clean browsing. Uh, it's just to limit distractions, just an adult filter that's very basic. Uh, this is 100% this is free, by the way. You can, you can use this on whatever device. I have it set up on my computer, and I have it set up on my phone. You don't have to do it on your entire IP address, but you can also do it for that. Uh, it doesn't block sites like Reddit. It doesn't block YouTube. Uh, Google and Bing are just set to safe mode. You can pretty much access everything that you need to access that isn't a distraction. Um, but what I would do on my phone is I would use this, uh, the host name, and I would go into my web settings and put up a uh, private DNS and put the host name in there, you know, to use it. But unfortunately with Blockada, it does not allow private DNS host names, but there is a way around that. If you're using Blockada 6, I have no idea why, because it's paid. Blockada 5 and 4 are free. The one I was using for the longest time was Blockada 5 on my phone. And it does not support private host names, but there is a way around that. If you go to downloads here, Blockada 4 for Android actually allows private host names. And I've actually confirmed this. I was in an email with one of the devs, and they told me Blockada 5 does not support um, private host names. But they said nothing about Blockada 4, and I thought I would give it a shot. And to my surprise, it does. So I'm going to pull that up and I'm going to demo that. Okay, so onto my phone. Uh, I'm going to demo how to set it up through Blockada. Now, normally, when you get to the website, you would take the host name and you would put it into your web browser settings or the web settings on your phone. But since we're using a VPN, we can't do that. So what we have to do is take these two IPv4 addresses and plug them into Blockada. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the first one and then go over to Blockada. And then what we can do from there is go to DNS. And this is like kind of the important part is we make a new one. Uh, I'm just going to call it clean browsing, but if you can call it whatever the hell you want. Oh, wait, it's not asking for the name. <laughs> Okay, no, it asked for the addresses first. So yeah, we put in the first address. Then we go back, copy this second address. Paste that in. And then we can type the name of it. It doesn't really matter. You can name it whatever. Um, I just leave it as clean browsing because that's the DNS that I use. And we add it. And once that's set, you can find it in the list clean browsing right there so what you want to do is use it and it's going to disconnect from my phone so once we get back i'll show you that it's working or maybe it's not going to disconnect okay wow okay oh it did <laughs> all right as you can see the dns is active and we're under clean browsing so just to demo this we'll head over to my browser and we'll just type in everybody's favorite site. Maybe I exposed myself a little bit here, but we're just gonna go and connect to it, go past that warning, and as you can see, the DNS address can't be found because that's the adult filter doing its trick. And we need even take this a step further, type something naughty into Google, doesn't show anything, videos, images, nothing dirty. So yeah, this pretty much works, and remember, keep in mind that this is for Blockada 4. I don't know why this feature was taken out of Blockada 5, and I'm not sure about 6, because 6 you have to pay for, but this seems kind of useful to know, especially for somebody who takes privacy pretty serious, and also wants to limit their distractions on their devices, and keep in mind, the adult filter that I showed is completely free and works, I have it set on my PC and my phone, if you guys want me to demo how to do that on your PC, I will too, but it's it's really not that difficult. It really isn't. And I'm just happy that there's an option for people who care about privacy and people who care about not having distractions. Oh my god, I suck at tutorials. Well, if it helped one of you guys, like the video and comment to let me know. And uh, I don't know why you'd subscribe over one tutorial, but if you care enough to, go ahead. Peace out.